Welcome back everyone to the channel for another video. This is Q50Beast. As the time grows near, the excitement is through the roof for Forza Motorsport. I mean, look at these visuals. I'm just ready to get this game in hand and get on the track. I mean, look at these visuals. Everything just looks so detailed, so real, so cool, and I'm ready for it. I'm ready for extreme handling. I'm ready for extreme realism extreme sounds extreme visuals everything and i believe this game can produce it i mean look at this thing it has a gran turismo forza motorsport vibe just coming out of the section there and getting into the car this thing just looks amazing i mean the car models are tremendous i mean look at this interior and exterior everything just looks and feels great I mean, even smacking the wall looks amazing. The American muscle cars, the Euros, the Japanese cars. I can't wait for it. I mean, these car models look through the roof, through the roof. I mean, look at the attention to detail, the handling. I'm so excited about the supreme handling that it appears that we're going to have with this game. Yeah, I believe it can rival Gran Turismo. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, just look at these visuals, the sun and everything. But let's go ahead and get into the handling. First off, the car looks like it's not sliding across the track like Forza Motorsport 7. It's not sliding at all. It looks like it's gripping pretty well. Now, it appears the person that's uh, displaying this is playing with the gamepad. So we got to take it for what it's worth. I'm sure things will be more smoother uh, once people are using their wheels, their Fanatex, their Mozas. Uh, the Logitech Thrustmasters and all of those different things, they're going to be cool. But I think what happens is when you saw that dip when he hits the brake, I think that just comes from the gamepad. And I think we'll be able to smoothen that out uh, once we're playing with our uh, direct drives and also the Logitech and Thrustmaster 150 guys. Um, but this thing just looks amazing. I'm just very, very excited about it. Look at the sun, how it pops through. Um, it looks really, really good. I mean, Gran Turismo does a great job with that. But Forza Motorsport looks like it's doing the same thing. Maybe even better. The realism just looks so good on this car. I just hope that it kind of smoothens out again uh, once we're using our direct drive wheels and so forth. Um, but just taking another look at the physics. I mean, the car looks like it's gripping as the driver is able to handle the car at speed. So. It looks good there. That's a significant improvement from the last game. I think the last game was an amazing game, especially from the time period that it came out. Um, but this thing is just taking it to the next level. And I've also said, you know, they just need to copy Gran Turismo and just make it a little better. And it seems like that's exactly what they did. Just taking a look at the avatars, how smooth they're walking. I mean, this thing looks good. Look at the tires, the attention to detail with the tires with the dirt level on the tires. I mean, this thing is amazing. And we're gonna get another look at the car model as the attention to detail is just amazing. I mean, this thing looks good, but let's go ahead and get another look at the physics. This is what I've always wanted uh, Forza to fix. And it looks like they got it. It looks like they finally have it. One of my favorite cars in the world, the Nissan Z is one of my favorite cars. Um, I owned a 2008 Nissan Z. Um, when that first came out and it was an amazing car so this thing looks the part i mean the driving just looks smooth we see that dip there but i think that is from the game pad uh so we we will find out soon but i i think they need to fix that because uh unless you're slamming on the brake as hard as you can that's probably what's happening with the game pad the car in real life will not dip like that especially if you have suspension on the car so um hopefully that is worked out before the game is in hand, um, but we'll see. Again, I think it can be solved with uh, using a steering wheel. Um, but the, the attention to detail, I mean, looking at the, the scenery outside of the race is also important and it looks tremendous. I mean, everything is included. Uh, I'm just really, really ready for this game. Uh, as you probably can tell, there is a lot of excitement for this thing. And I'm just ready to get this thing on the road and see, you know, how it is. I'm very, very interested in the Builder's Cup. Uh, this is just going to be amazing. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. This is Q50 Beast. Peace out.